This is the Sunday Jazz Brunch Podcast. It's number 35 for April 8, 2018. I'm Steve Bauer, the Jazz Man. On this week's podcast, we'll give you some smooth jazz news, celebrate some birthdays. We'll check out tracks from two new CDs. Keyboarder Scott Allman is in with Elevated, and saxman Billy Ray Shepard has Silk. I'll have a feedback track. This week's number one song on the Billboard charts and a rock to jazz connection for you to check out and more. If you want to get in touch, whether you have feedback for the show or if you'd like to become a sponsor of the show, that would be cool. Help us out a lot. Or if you're an artist, got a new CD, you'd like us to talk to you and play your music. Or if you're with a radio station and you'd like to have the three-hour weekly Sunday Jazz Brunch radio show customized for your station to smooth out your Sunday morning and help generate revenue, that's so important these days. Just let me know. Steve, the Jazzman one at gmail.com. It's Steve, the Jazzman one at gmail.com. Let's find out what's happening in the world of news this week. This is a smooth jazz news break with Steve Bauer. Pianist and composer Herbie Hancock is working on a new jazz, funk, and hip-hop hybrid album. The album should release later this year. Hancock says that he is learning so much from the young people that he is working with. He further explained that because they build the new structures, including social media and that whole arena, which affects how you get things out in front of the public to let them know that you're working on something. Hancock released his last album, The Imagine Project, in 2010. It is without doubt that one of the standout albums of 2012 was the hugely adventurous Weekend in L.A., which was a tribute to George Benson by guitarist Unam. Now beefed up from 11 to 15 tracks and including bonuses that previously were only available with the Japanese release comes a very special deluxe edition. Anyone expecting a velvety reimagining of some of George Benson's most popular songs is in for quite a surprise. And last year, Aretha Franklin announced that her plans were to retire, saying that she would be performing at some special events. The Queen of Souls management team says that her doctors have advised her to cancel all scheduled performances and completely rest for at least the next two months. She had been scheduled to perform on March 25th at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark, New Jersey. That show would have taken place on her 76th birthday. Franklin also will not appear on April 28th at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Organizers now say that Rod Stewart will perform as the headliner instead. The city of Chicago is increasing security at the Lakefront Millennium Park this summer. City officials say that there will be a security perimeter and bag check for all concerts and events at the downtown park. They will be looking for such things as firearms, knives, and other weapons, which will be prohibited. The park along Lake Michigan is host to 80 free summer cultural programs. Events which have the highest attendance include the Chicago Blues Festival, the Chicago Mariachi Festival, and the Chicago Jazz Festival. Officials with the city's Office of Emergency Management and Communications say they are making the changes after terror attacks in major cities and at entertainment venues worldwide. There are 25 sound recordings now being honored with election to the National Recording Registry, a compendium of recorded works singled out by the Library of Congress for their historical, cultural, or aesthetic significance. The registry was established by Congress as part of the National Recording Preservation Act of 2000. Included in this year's list of inductees is the Temptations hit My Girl, written by Smokey Robinson, and Tony Bennett's signature 1962 pop ballad, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. I left my heart in San Francisco. Fleetwood Mac's 1977 blockbuster rock album, Rumors, is also newly headed into the registry, along with the 1965 soundtrack to The Sound of Music featuring Julie Andrews. 
Recordings must be at least 10 years old before they become eligible for the registry. The choices are not limited to music, although music represents the vast majority in the registry. Recordings are chosen with both expert and public input, the latter submitted to the registry's website. This year crop brings the total of recordings in the registry to 500, just a small slice of the library's collection of nearly 3 million sound recordings. That's the news update this time. I'm Steve Bauer, the Jazz Man. Well, on the 8th, Brenda Russell. Well, her real name is Brenda Jordan. She was born in Brooklyn. She moved to Canada when she was very little, and that's where she was raised. Today, she turns the big 7-0. It's Brenda Russell. Big hits. Piano in the Dark. Jeffrey Hancock. Herbie Hancock turns 78. He was born in Chicago, started playing the piano at seven. It's Watermelon Man, Herbie Hancock. the 13th, Grant Geisman turned 65, born in San Jose, California. He got his big break with that electric guitar solo on Chuck Man Jones' song, Feels So Good, back in about 1978. This is one for Larry Carlton from Grant Geisman. week we are featuring tracks from two new cds billy ray shepherd is in with one called silk this is the title track and he's out of the san antonio texas area This album does feature the lead single, Heels and Pearls, Billy Ray Shepherd. Thank you. 
this is probably my favorite track on the album. Don't know why, but I like it. It's Dancing in the River at Midnight. Billy Ray Shepard, the CD is titled Silk. Listening to Billy Ray Shepard, his new CD titled Silk. This is Memories of Tomorrow. He's out of the San Antonio, Texas area. Shepherd Silk. song is called She's Lovely in Yellow. Again, from Billy Ray Shepard, the CD is Silk. When you go to Amazon to order that, if you use our new Amazon portal, you'll help to support our show, and you're not going to pay anything extra. You can get the actual CD or do the MP3 download, or actually, you can shop for anything at all on Amazon. Our new Amazon portal, get there by clicking shopforjazz.com. It's shop, then the number four, jazz.com. The other new CD we're featuring this week is from keyboardist Scott Allman. He's out of the uh, Chicago area. It's called Elevated. This is the title track from Scott Allman. It's Elevated. Featuring the lead single, Radio Waves.
you're listening to Scott Allman. His new CD is Elevated. This is Cloud Nine. This track is called Sky Lounge. Elevated. It is Chicago-based Scott Allman. That is called New Day from the new CD titled Elevated. Hope you liked our new featured CDs this week. Some fairly new artists to smooth and contemporary jazz. It's time for this week's feedback track. Listen and let us know if you like it or not. Well, this is an interesting song this week. It has an introduction for the album version. And then there's a a version that they've put together without the longer introduction by Herb Alpert himself for radio to play. We're going to play the long version to get it all started. It's Herb Alpert. The song is What a Wonderful World. In the words of the great Louis Armstrong, in answer to young people saying, what do you mean it's a wonderful world? Well, how about all those wars all over the place? You call that wonderful? And how about hunger and pollution? That ain't so wonderful either. It ain't the world that's so bad. It's what we're doing to it. What a wonderful world it would be if only we would give it a chance. Love, baby, love. That's the secret. Yeah.
That is this week's feedback track from Herb Alpert. What a wonderful world. What do you think of that? Do you like it? Yes or no? Let me know. Steve, the jazzman1 at gmail.com. And on the Billboard Smooth Jazz charts this week, still hanging at number one, it is Brian Culbertson, title track from his new CD. This is Colors of Love. This is the Rock to Jazz Connection, where we remember a song that was a big hit and then play a jazz version of that same song. The song in the connection this week is Blackbird, We Remember with the Beatles. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life Waiting for this moment to arise Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see Let's connect the song Blackbird to jazz To do so we call on Paul Tuffman That's about all the time we have for this week. If you've got feedback for the show or you would like to become a sponsor, or maybe you've got a new CD out, you want me to talk to you and play your music, or if you're with a radio station and you'd like to have the weekly three-hour Sunday Jazz Brunch program customized for your station, making that Sunday morning smooth and helping you generate revenue, then send me an email, Steve the Jazzman1 at gmail.com. It's Steve the Jazzman1 at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time here for another Sunday Jazz Brunch podcast.